Regardless of the weather, when the days grow longer in spring, North Dakota's upland game birds start their mating rituals. Just about all of our upland birds are dancing uh, to some degree. Uh, even pheasants, they're out displaying. Uh, usually they corral up their hand, can turn sideways, show off um, all their feathers, um, their wattles, everything like that. Um, turkeys, sharp-tailed grouse, prairie chickens, even rough grouse, um, they're out drumming, doing their displays on top of logs. Sharp-tailed grouse, sage grouse, and prairie chickens go back to the same lex, our breeding grounds, every year. And when the birds start dancing, biologists are conducting their spring surveys. Many of these counts have been going on since the 1950s. We do it every year, it's an index population. It's not a, you know, count all type of thing, but like I said, it gives us an index and since everything is usually in the same spot, you know, prairie chicken, sage grouse, um, sharp tails, everything, this is when we get out, um, do our counts. And why is the spring survey data important? This survey doesn't really help us set limits. It's basically to see how things came through the winter uh, compared to last year. So it's been really good long-term data set for us. While the purpose is the same, each species has its own special characteristics that go into the spring show. Sage grouse and prairie chickens, they have special air sacs in their necks that they'll puff out and it's also what they use to make their booming sound uh, to attract the, the females. Sharp tails, they have smaller, it's more they have their yellow above their eyes and then um, they have smaller air sacs as compared to the sage grouse and prairie chickens. And turkeys really, they're displaying all year, but uh, it'll be more active in the springtime. They're strutting um, with their tails fanned out trying to attract the hens. This is Mike Anderson in the North Dakota Outdoors.